I don't know if you've seen the news, but Claude have been cooking recently and releasing banger after banger. And I personally am struggling to keep up. So what we're going to do together as a family is go through some of these changes and start to digest them. So anti-gravity was the first to kind of introduce this idea that their extension, their Chrome extension is able to be controlled from the IDE. Now Cla Claude have just released that feature so whilst we had the chrome mcp playwright various ways to control the browser in cursor they've got their own in in-house um ide this is quite cool that it can read consoles do all the stuff you would expect from with inside claude code probably claude to be honest as well um but i'd be using it inside of claude code so this is this is really nice and it's really and we'll get into testing in replit later on but i'm really trying to like solidify my my testing workflow and if i can work out some agents and rules to always go to the browser after after writing a feature this that or the other this will help massively with that um and i won't need to just keep switching between you know cursor or whatever i can just sort of stay inside claw code so this is available for all mac plan users um if you're running the latest version so that that got released literally today yeah we've also got look at these little uh things they're releasing as well. Uh, syntax highlighting for diffs, prompt suggestions, first party marketplace pl uh, uh, plugins for the marketplace and shareable guest passes. So if you want to, if you want a free week of claw code, put it in the comments and I can, uh, or we'll, we'll sell out something, but I've got, I've got three passes that I can give away for That's a week. Cool. I think that is so uh, I can do that for you. So diffs is obviously just more of a quality of life thing this is going to really help see the differences in in what's actually changing again rather than going into you know cursor or, or whatever suggested next prompt i actually see, saw this uh happening inside claw code i didn't realize what was going on it's suggesting the next prompt and you can accept it with tab which removed thinking mode in core code they fixed it with option t you have to, you go into thinking mode with option t um or alt t if you're on pc plugins are a weird one because you used to have to add a plugin by having the link to the github library whereas now they've got literally you can see them scrolling through the marketplace right now just easier to, easier to connect plugins now i'm gonna have a video coming out on plugins i think people are sleeping on plugins and uh, yeah i'll have a video coming out of that so pretty um Pretty excited for that. And then one last one, guys. Claw code on Android. Pretty cool. I actually didn't realize this, but you if you've got the Claw app, you can literally code from your phone now with uh, on Claw Code. And I could we were talking about agents and stuff like that. You can you can use Claw Code for web and set off agents on um using Claw Code, you know, um, online agents and whatever, or Claw Code for the web. Hotkey model switcher, I'm here for that because I've got slash commands that switch the model. And I actually, this thing that we were speaking about earlier, I've got this to select different models. Now ah, with the hotkey, cool. now with the hotkey, I don't need to channel channel all that sort of stuff. Uh, I could, you don't need to use Claude Co for the web. You can use um, Claude desktop um, and then you select your target as you either use it locally for on the core code desktop or you select it for for the um, GitHub, you know, so it's all done all done locally. It's not it's not done on the web, but regardless. And then context window status lines. I mean, that's just a, a UI update. These features create an ecosystem where it's making it harder and harder and harder for me to leave Claude code because no other CLI, Gemini, um, Codex, None of them have all of these really nice quality of life features, which is like, well, if I move over to Codex, then then I need to create new, do they even have sub agents? I don't even know. Or memory files, or slash commands, or this or that. Do you know what I mean? So it's, yeah. uh, you know, but anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely getting deeper and deeper into Claude Code's um, love affair. This is part of a larger conversation on my show, Command AI, which we stream live every single week. We discuss the news and all things related to AI in the world of design and web. Catch us next week and join in the banter.